and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make DIY miniature school supplies inspired by McDonald's. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see future DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. So to get started, I chose a piece of foam that was a close color match to the bun. I'm going to use the two inch styrofoam balls from this pack. Begin by cutting the top dome shaped piece, then a smaller piece from the middle, and a piece from the bottom removing the dome shape. Here are the three pieces once I was done cutting them. The next thing you'll want to do is cut the foam piece in half. Place the styrofoam dome shaped piece on something to make it stable. Carefully heat the piece of foam, place the foam over the styrofoam piece, and wrap it around. Apply hot glue on the piece of foam, then place the styrofoam piece back and hot glue the two pieces together, smoothing out the foam piece over the styrofoam ball. Hot glue around the edges to hold in place. Trim off any excess, leaving enough foam to fold over to the styrofoam. Cut around the foam, then hot glue to hold in place. I'm going to use sesame seeds and Elmer's clear glue to make the seeded bun. Apply glue to the foam, then sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. Set that aside and let it dry. Once it's dry, add another layer of glue over the top. To make the bottom part of the bun, take the piece of styrofoam that was slightly larger that had the dome shape cut off and repeat the same steps with the foam and hot glue. And that is how you make the bottom of the bun. To make the middle part of the bun, I didn't have a piece of foam that was long enough, so I wrapped it around so it would fit, traced around it, and cut out the strip of foam. Heat up the piece of foam, wrap it around the styrofoam piece, and secure with hot glue. For the lettuce, I'm going to use a piece of green foam, trace around the middle bun, then cut it out in a wavy pattern. Place that piece of foam over the iron so it curls up and then set it aside. Repeat those same steps, but this time use the bottom of the bun. For the cheese, choose a piece of foam that closely matches the cheese color. Cut a small square out, heat that with an iron so the edges curl slightly. the hamburger, I'm going to use a thicker piece of brown foam, use a circle object that will fit on the hamburger, trace around it, and cut it out. You will need two to make the Big Mac. Now to assemble the Big Mac, take the bottom of the bun, hot glue the lettuce, cheese, and hamburger patty down. Next, hot glue the middle bun, then on top of that, the lettuce and hamburger. Before gluing down the top of the bun, put together an eye hook, jump ring, and keychain. 
place the keychain in the top center of the hamburger bun. Now hot glue the top bun down, and that is how you make a mini Big Mac keychain. The next DIY will be mini french fry pens and pencils. Using a piece of spongy foam, cut out four or five little pieces to resemble french fries. I'm going to use the ink from a mini pen. You can always use a regular size and cut it down. I cut the ink down to size so it would fit into the piece of foam. Using a toothpick or wooden skewer, make a hole in the center of the foam, making sure not to poke it through. Once the hole has been made, remove the wooden skewer and place the ink in there. To make the pencils, I'm going to use one of the little pencil pieces from one of these pencils. Repeat the same step of making the hole with the wooden skewer and then adding the piece of pencil. But for this one, place a little bit of hot glue in the hole to secure the piece of pencil. I'm going to use some golden yellow acrylic paint to paint all of the pieces of foam. While the foam pieces are drying, head over and print out this french fry box. The link will be down below. You will also need a piece of cardstock, and if you want the yellow lines to make it look more like a real french fry box, then just use a yellow marker to make the lines on the piece of cardstock. Place the yellow lines face down and glue the cutout french fry box printable to the cardstock. Next, just cut that out. Using the lines on the printable as a guide, fold the box, then glue the flaps down to make a french fry box. Add the foam pieces to the french fry box and that is how you make these mini french fry pens and pencils. The next DIY will be a mini ketchup notebook with a fake ketchup spill. Using the link down below, print out the ketchup packet printable. Place a piece of clear packaging tape over the top to give it the glossy look. Cut out the image. For the sides, I use jagged scissors, but that is optional. Cut out where it says tear here. To make the paper for the notebook, trace around the ketchup. I then folded a sheet of paper and cut it out slightly inside the lines so it wouldn't hang over. Gather all the pieces of paper for the notebook. I'm going to use clothespins to hold it in place and with some Elmer's glue, I painted on a thick layer of glue on the top to hold the notebook together. Once the glue has dried, remove the clothespins and your notebook will be held together. To make the back of the notebook, I'm going to use a piece of cardstock I traced around the notebook pieces and then I cut that out and glued it down. For the fake ketchup spill, I'm going to use some red acrylic paint and some clear Elmer's glue. Mix equal amounts of glue and paint together. Lay the ketchup image on a plastic bag 
pour out a little bit of the paint and glue mixture and then using a paintbrush, I formed it into a spill shape. Set that aside and let it dry for about 24 hours. Once it's dry, remove it from the plastic bag. To give it some stability, I'm going to use a piece of cardstock and I'm just gonna trace around it and then cut it out. Glue those two pieces together. Next, I just glued the catch-up image to the notebook. And that is how you make this DIY mini notebook. The next DIY will be a mini eraser that looks like a Mick Cafe mocha or hot chocolate. Use the link down below to print out this printable and then cut it out. Place the printable on a toilet paper roll, leaving space at the top, and cut out leaving space at the bottom. Cut the toilet paper roll so it opens up, place the printable on top, and cut around it leaving a border. To help the toilet roll piece, Form the cup shape, I wrapped it around a marker. Hot glue the toilet roll piece together. Paint the toilet roll piece with some white acrylic paint. Once the paint has dried, wrap the printable around it and secure it with glue. Here is mine at this point. I'm going to use a piece of white eraser clay. I'm just going to roll half of it into a ball and then into a snake shape and wrap it around the cup, making it look like whipped cream. Once I had my whipped cream formed, I removed it from the paper cup and I baked the eraser clay in the oven according to the package instructions. After it's baked, hot glue it to the cup. And that is how easy it is to make this DIY mini eraser. The last project will be a DIY slime phone case. For this one, you will need a sheet protector and also this printable. I will leave a link down below to where you can print it out. Trace out the cup onto the sheet protector. I used the edge of the sheet protector that was already sealed as the bottom of the cup. Cut out the cup image. If there's any marker left on it, you can use some rubbing alcohol to remove it. Using a piece of parchment paper, I folded it in half. I placed the side of the cup in there and then using a metal ruler to only seal a border of the cup. It should look like this. I just repeated that same process with the other side. Here is what I have at this point, the two sides sealed and the top left open. To make the slime to go inside, I'm going to use some clear glue and I'm also going to use some caramel color acrylic paint. Add those two together and stir them up. form the slime, I'm going to use some Tide laundry detergent. I just added a little bit at a time until it formed slime. And here is my mocha colored slime. Add 
add as much or little of the slime to the cup as you would like. And then using the same method as before, seal the top of the cup. I'm just going to use a clear foam case. I'm going to hot glue the borders of the cup and glue that to the foam case. I printed out a Mitt Cafe label and glued that to the cup. To make the whipped cream, I'm just going to use some white puffy paint and create a whipped cream effect. And that is how you make this easy DIY slime phone case. I hope you enjoyed all these DIY mini McDonald's school supplies. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know which is your favorite DIY. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.